Now let's take a look at the boys now. The names you also need to note down, starting from the 100 meters, that 200 meters specialist, uh, Fatula. When some guys saw uh, Fatula Adedoyi, were like, okay, I mean, this is, I mean, an elite sprinter, the way he was running out. In 200 meters, he finished first. He won two gold medals in 200 meters and 400 meters. And that's one. He's from Oroyo Senior School in Ikorodu. And also you have Obogu Chemeka. He was with us from mm -hmm, St. Gregory mm -hmm. uh, College. Chemeka, you know, won the 100 meters. 11.8 seconds. He's just 15. I mean, just look at that. At St. Gregory's, we know what they can actually do when it comes to, you know, uh, uh, sports and all yeah. that. Then we have Ogo Matthew. Ogo Matthew from FGC in Janiki. That's Federal Government College, Janiki. I mean, he won the gold medal in the 800 meters. And also, when I had to lead his school, you know, uh, yeah. to four, five, four hundred meters reading. Now, these uh, athletes, I ask most of them, what gives you the, the, the strength? Because when I met Olua there, I was asking, I mean, you did the 400 meters, you did the relay and also long jump. This, the same day, finance, like the, the kind of strength and tenacity that they had, it's something like one that the, the energy they expanded in just one day. Now, the world record in the 100 meters dash for men is 9.58. Mm -hmm. Now, a certain Chemeka returned 11.8 seconds, and he's a teenager. I'm pretty much excited by these times I'm, I'm getting to see. And the versatility also is not in doubt. Mm -hmm. They can compete in the 100, 200, field events, and even short distance races. Yeah. Now, the um, coaches will now have to discover where their strengths, where their best Comparative are. Comparative advantage. Priority and advantage. I'm just concerned about our ability to actually encourage and keep these talents Propel together. Them. So that we prepare to achieve greatness in the near future. So great to go, guys. All right. I, I think it's only fitting that we allow you to listen to some of these athletes, student athletes, that we have highlighted. Uh, let's start with the, the, the boy that won the 100 meters. He was with us yesterday, Obogo Chemeka. And his dream is to equal or best the 9.58 record currently held by uh, Usain Bolt. So uh, this is the race that um, end him that reputation and all the strength of that. He says, eh, I can do it. That's my dream. So let's listen to uh, Chemeka, uh, Obogu Chemeka this morning. Very happy. All the training, my coach and my advices make me very happy. And praying to God. Yeah, I've been running speed events for a very long time. Training. Now, thank God, I've graduated to another level of beating. And, um, like, being outside events, that make me known for the first time. I'm very happy. It's, a, it's, a, it's very good. It helps sprinters like us do our very best, break our time to more and more every time we run. We just like it. I keep breaking my time so I reach this remote and break his. That's my inspiration. I like the guy. Uh, you know, aiming for the skies. It's just, you know, just aim. Who knows? Uh, who knows? And we'll be proud to see, if he eventually does, we'll be proud to say, well, we discovered him. We let the world know uh, who this uh, young man, Chiamika, uh, really is. There are other guys. Uh, yeah. But uh, let's move to Lu Luandara. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, the, 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 I mean, the girl, you just look at her and you're like, okay, how did you do it? Tell me about the fact that, okay, just straight, not looking back. Because the 100, 400 meters, they had the A and mm -hmm. the B. She mm -hmm. was thinking, she won the B, and then she was thinking, okay, I've won this and I've got the gold. But then that's not it. It's the fastest time. You know, you merge them both together mm -hmm. to the fastest time, and that's how you actually, you know, get it. Overall so she now winner. finished third. And when she heard that, she was going for the long jump. Do you understand that? I mean, how she was able to compose herself, just knowing that she couldn't, you know, get what she wanted in that 400 meters. And the long jump, she went ahead to win gold in that one. That she is, you know, taking a gold medal in the long jump event. Let's just hear from her what's actually giving her that opportunity. And the fact that well, she wants to be an Olympian someday. Well, it's been absolutely amazing, and I'm so honored to be here. I'm so glad that I came. Uh, I got a bronze medal for uh, 400 meters, a uh, gold medal for a uh, long jump. Well, it's just keep on pushing. Don't give up. Just do what you got to do, and you just do your best. That's what keeps me going. Just 
start strong, finish stronger. That's what I put in my mind every time. Well, at least every year we have a, a sports day competition, very important event, and every week, at least like three times, we train, train hard. We we always try to, you know, finish stronger from the last week. So it's basically that we're training to keep on getting better and better, and we never give up. So. Well, I definitely want to go to the Olympics someday, hopefully, and maybe one day I just might be there. Of course, she will be there. We just hope all our wishes and our dreams come true. And that's if uh, Athletics Federation of Nigeria are actually watching, because that's the key. It's not enough for these uh, you know, girls mm -hmm, and boys mm -hmm. to actually dream. It's for them to get the opportunity. Chance. The channels have started it. They've showcased this talent. They've given these uh, boys and girls the opportunity to compete and see they can actually run, jump, and do all kinds of events and all that. So it's now left for you know the uh, federation, the governing body of athletics, to actually mm -hmm. see. Okay, let's go to this school and pick this one for the youth games. Let's go to this and pick this one for the sport festival and all that. By the time you start that at the national championships level, the golden meet and all that, you discover that it's going to be easier for them to step up and achieve their dreams. Yeah, no doubt. The Athletic Federation of Nigeria, in partnership with the School Sports Federation, they have um, their work cut out, basically. Uh, with the talent we witnessed at this competition, it shows without a doubt that uh, there are people, young boys and girls, who have shown endeavor. They've persevered, they've worked hard, I would see fortune smiling on a few of them. Mm -hmm. Now it's led for these federations to encourage them yeah. such that they get the needed boost to keep that morale very, very high. Right. It is very, very key. All right. I hope they can take advantage of this opportunity. Okay, so what is done is done. Channel television um, I started the first leg of the relay. And we would have passed the button. So we've discovered the talents. Don't let these talents waste. Uh, get them in their prime and, of course, the success story will be shared by everybody, even though we know we started it. But of course, uh, we're going to all be part <laughs> of the success story. All right, let's talk about one of the guys, the 800 meters gold medal winner. Talking about Matthew, uh, Ogon Matthew. And of course, he shares the story as well. Uh, it was um, surprising uh, to see that some of these guys are really determined. And even before coming here, they wanted their time under the sun, and channels presented them that opportunity. So we listened to 800 meters uh, winner, uh, Ogon Matthew, uh, talking about his story and how everything happened for him. Uh, it's just the commitment, support of our principal, and, and ambition, like the drive. The, he drives us to be athletes, to be like, just stand out there. That's what makes us different. I feel I've accomplished. I feel like I'm not training again. Those discipline that I used to pray to God, those late hours I took training, it's not going again. That's how I feel. I dream as an athlete. It's to bring out Nigeria, to make Nigeria at the top. You know, this day when we watch athletics. I, I had it in Nigeria, so I want to. I want our generation to be like that. That's why I'm grateful to thank for channels for me this competition. All right, so interesting stories. We'll continue to talk about this before we go on the break. Let's see if we can quickly uh, bring to you uh, the medal table and so. Uh, do some sort of assessment. Uh, that's it. It seems to take us through uh, uh, all of this. It's very, very, very close. Very, very close. Very, absolutely very close. The area school from Ikurudu, senior high school from Ikurudu, I mean, gold medals in everything. I mean, I have, when you have an athlete like Four Fatima, goals. Who, who will just give you two, mm -hmm. you know that you're almost there. And of course, one bronze medal. You know, they got five medals. Mm -hmm. Federal uh, Government College. Ijaniki. They got three gold medals and of course one silver and one bronze medal. They also had five. And from Kings, uh, Kingsfield School, Ikurudu. also a Kurodu, two, two. Uh, two, two, you know, they had four. Same date, they got two. And that two was from, you know, just one person, Alimont. She mm -hmm. was the one who gave them gold. Alimont is a girl who really needs to watch out for 200 meters and 100 meters especially. I think she was the record for winning the first medal as well? Absolutely. Yeah, she got the first medal for us on the day when the whole event started. Green Springs School, of course, they got one gold medal, and that was a long jump from uh, there. And of course, St. Uh, Gregory's. St. Gregory's also there. They got one gold medal, and that was from Jamaica to a uh, gold medal in the 100 meters. Common School also in the mix, and BMJS, that's the girls who were trying to quit in the form of 100 meters, so knowing that they can actually still make it. They were able to win a gold medal in the form of 100 meters, and that's what 
put the school on this medal table if they had not gone ahead to run because they qualified for almost all the events but then somehow they just it couldn't win most of the event they qualified for in the final that's after winning the heat in the one but they two were able to get one good medal okay now we need to go on a break now when we return we'll be talking about the nba